Yeah, Cuban beaches, cigars. Now that President Obama is easing travel restrictions even more, may not be much longer before you can enjoy both. Right now, travel only allowed under 12 existing categories, including family, religious, cultural, humanitarian, professional, and educational visits. But tourist travel to the nation, just 90 miles from Florida, remains banned. Can only be changed by Congress. So what will the loosened restrictions mean for all of us? Mark Murphy, he is the author of Travel Unscripted. He is live in New York. So, Mark, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, you know, a lot of people are very curious. They want to go. How soon could they see the beach and maybe take in a cigar? Not anytime soon, other no. than the programs you just talked about, because it's still really an elitist destination because it's so expensive. It uh, could cost as much as $4,000 to go, and it's a cultural program. That's the people-to-people -people program. That's the way you get there now. Plenty of tour operators offer it, so you can definitely go. Uh, and if you do it legally, there are still those restrictions in place in terms of spending money uh, and doing things like that, although that's going to ease up quite a bit going forward. Okay, so I love the beach. Uh, I yeah. love the sun. Not cigars so much, um, but what would be the possibilities? You know, if we looked out at, at, over the horizon, are we talking about cruises? Are we talking about the, the possibilities of even booking online at some point? Well, this is, gonna, this is a great destination. It's un, you know, unknown by Americans for more than 50 years now. So they want to go there, and it's got a lot of intrigue. It's going to bring an influx of people back to that part of the world. You know, a lot of people have done the Caribbean. They've done cruises. This will get more people going back to explore Cuba. It's not going to happen anytime soon because there's a whole host of issues. So first they've got to go through Congress. Will Congress let this go? Mm, I don't know right now. So it's going to be a bit of a battle, but I think it's a good step in the right direction and then eventually the cruise lines will be building piers down there there'll be a lot of infrastructure that has to happen because right now they I don't think they could handle it and we know that the branch of the State Department that's overseeing these changes mm -hmm. they expect that they're going to issue some sort of revised rules in the coming weeks what do we expect that's going to come out of that department what will they say I think you're going to find that the licensing that you have to do, and it takes a little bit of time, three to four months, to get the, the license in order to go. It's not a spur-of-the-moment destination, unless you go there illegally, because a lot of Americans will go through Canada or Mexico and go there now, but that's illegal. You're not allowed to do that. If you go the, through the proper channels, through the proper tour operators, you have to get licensed, and that, I think, is going to be eased. That's what they're talking about. So it's going to be much easier in terms of a process, and then if you can do it, once we start opening up the floodgates, if you would, then more and more people are going to be able to go. Yeah, and then we anticipate it'll probably be a little bit cheaper as well. Mark Murphy, well, thank you. Well, yeah. it's going to be more expensive out of the gate because it's going to create more demand and therefore, um, let, you know, supply won't grow. Prices are going to go way up if they open this up. And it's going to damage our neighbors in the north who see Cuba as a great value destination. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Mark, it. thank you very much. appreciate it. Uh, Thanks. And we'll see. It'll be a little while before we all get over there. Thanks again. Justin Bieber. Uh, yeah, we're talking about Justin Bieber.